Is this lighting outlet required by code? That's exactly what we're going to find out today. This episode's been sponsored by Racketeers Tools. You can head to the link in the description below and use coupon code COACH10 to save 10% at Racketeers Tools. Let's get to it. In 210.70 is where we find our required lighting outlets. Let's take a look at the paraphrase code language. Each habitable room, kitchen, laundry area, and bathroom must have at least one lighting outlet that's controlled by a listed wall-mounted control device, aka a switch, or something similar. This control device must be installed near the entrance of the room on the wall. So I believe it was in the 2020, they started dictating the location of the switch, which was a new kind of concept in 210.70. So it's required to be there and it's required to be near an entrance to the room. Now let's take a look at the exception to this blanket code. For areas other than kitchens, laundry areas, and bathrooms, you're allowed to use one or more receptacles controlled by a listed wall-mounted device. What it's saying, hey, these lighting outlets that are required, they don't necessarily have to be in the ceiling. It doesn't have to be a traditional lighting outlet or a wall sconce. We're going to allow you to do switch controlled receptacles unless you're in a kitchen, laundry area, or bathroom. Those have to either be ceiling type or wall mounted type fixtures. You're not allowed to use switch receptacles in those areas. Now let's take a look at some additional locations. Additional required lighting outlets include hallways, stairwells, and both attached and detached garages that have electric power. Your attached garage is going to have electric power required by other parts of the code and your detached garage, if it does have electric power, on the inside this is talking about, you're required to have at least one lighting outlet. If it's detached and doesn't have power ran to it, you're not required to fulfill this code. And when we get to 210.70A22, we find the answer to today's question. For dwelling units as well as attached and detached garages that have electric power, at least one lighting outlet must be installed on the exterior side of each outdoor entrance and exit that has grade level access. This outlet must be controlled by a listed wall mounted control device. A garage vehicle door is not considered an outdoor entrance or exit. So the answer to today's question of whether or not this personnel door outside of this dwelling unit was required to have that lighting outlet, the answer is yes. It's required on all personnel doors that have grade level access. It's not required on the vehicle, like, you know, for the vehicle to go in and out that garage door. But if the garage has a personnel door, then it would be required to have illumination on the exterior side. When it comes to your detached garages, if they don't have power, don't worry about it. If they do, you're also going to have to have one on the exterior side of that personnel door. So that means for your detached garage with electric power, at minimum, it's going to have to have the one lighting outlet on the inside and the one lighting outlet on the outside. Now let's take a look at our checklist for today and round out today's episode. So our quick checklist for this installation would be, is there a personnel door at grade level? If yes, then I move on. The next one is, is there a lighting outlet present? Is it there? If there is, then I move on. Does it have a wall switch or control device? If I've answered all three of these, plus all of the other codes in the NEC, I know that I'm ready to move on to my next adventure. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. Let's get to it.